So what are some other things you're struggling with? Because you learn the color of Christ, right? This is Christ ain't white, right? You learn it, you keep it to laws of the Bible. So what are some other things that you need clarity on out of the Bible? What's a question you've always had? Yeah. Go ahead, say it again. What's it? You might you might need clarity. What's the question? That's why I asked. Well, you know, speaking in tongues. Speaking in tongues. Okay, so they do that in the church. When you was a kid, they'd be running around the church making a mess, right? And you'd be looking at them like they was crazy. Well, we didn't call the running around. Yeah. The speaking in tongues. Okay, but normally it's mixed with that running around, right? Okay, what's, uh, somebody find me the scripture that says muttering too. We're going to get that first Corinthians first. It said the muttering. Read that. I think it might be Deuteronomy 10, but go ahead. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 14, verse 6. Now, brethren, if I come unto you speaking with tongues. He says speaking with tongues. So tongues, what did that refer to? Was that la 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 la? Shibarahanda? That's what he's talking about? Yeah. That's what you think. Okay, give me Isaiah. This is why we need the Old Testament. Yeah. Ah, okay, we got you. We're going to read it. Perfect. You've been here before? You learned from some brothers right here before or something? What's, what's more important, your pastor or the Bible? Okay. Okay. You was going to let him go. You got to let him go because he's been lying to you. This is what he believe in. This is what you believe in. If you're going to stay here and keep the commandments of God. He don't know what that sis. Hold on, come back to me. Let's go back here. He don't know what that's talking about. You know why I don't know what how he now. You know how I know he does not know what that's talking about because he doesn't understand the first thing about God, which is his color. You understand what I'm saying to you? If he doesn't understand what color Christ is, he can't tell you about the mark of the beast. He can't tell you about buying and selling and what that means because he doesn't understand the basics of the Bible. In order to get the basics of the Bible, you have to apply the Bible in your life first. Right? That's right. So let's go back to Acts. I'm gonna show you where I want to stay here. Read that. The book of Acts, chapter 2, verse 4. Yep. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost uh -huh. and began to speak with other tongues. So they started to speak. The word speak means I'm saying something and you understand it. It don't just mean I'm muttering. I'm going to show you that in the Bible. When the Bible talks about you mumbling, there's scriptures that talk about muttering. But this was words coming out of their mouth. Go ahead to speak with other tongues uh -huh. as the Spirit gave them utterance. So the Spirit gave them a power to utter other languages. This is how you know. Go ahead. And there were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews, devout men. See what the men were? They were Jews just like you. They were from the tribe of Judah. They had come back to keep the Feast of Pentecost. Go ahead. Out of every nation. The reason they had went to every nation was why? What would happen to us when we would go to every nation? That, sis. We were taken into slavery on ships. We were scattered into different places. You understand? At that time, we had just scattered, we had ran into different places because they were persecuting us. And we had to be keeping God's laws. But later, we were going to slavery on ships. Give me Deuteronomy 4, verse 27 real quick so I can make the point to my sister. So after we got scattered, if you go over to Europe somewhere and you still look like how you look and you still got the same lineage, what language are you going to start speaking? Armano. Armano. Oh, he don't speak Spanish, huh? He ain't listening. He focused. My brother. Hey, let me ask you. You speak Spanish? A little bit. Okay, why do you think you speak Spanish? Because this is perfect what I'm talking to sister about. Come on, come on over here. You ain't got to be afraid. I'm not going to bite you. I promise. I promise. I just got my teeth clean. If I do bite you, it, it won't be too bad. Stand right here. Now, you speak Spanish, right? Okay. I was just telling the sister that the Israelites on that sign, they were all scattered into different nations. And when we got there, right, the language Spanish, where does that come from? What place? See? So now, who conquered the Mexicans? You forgot? Okay. Did they look something like these men? Look something like that? Yeah, they were called the conquistadors. They came over and they spoke Spanish. And when they conquered you, in the process of time, they gave you their language and their heritage. Deuteronomy 4, verse 27. Watch it. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 4, verse 27. And the Lord shall scatter you among the nations. So the Lord said he was going to scatter the Israelites among all nations. So he scattered his, his the 12 tribe or the 10 tribe, the northern kingdom, among some Spaniards. They scattered them. And you got scattered among the English, right? People who spoke English. Go ahead. 
and ye shall be left you in number among the heathen. So he said, I was going to send you among the heathen, and you'll be left you in number. Now go back to Acts. So now does that make sense, Michelle? We would get scattered all around the world. The reason that happened, my brothers, stay here and listen, is because we didn't keep God's commandments. Acts 2, and we're going to jump back to verse 5. This is why they went in every other nation. Go ahead. The book of Acts, chapter 2, verse 5. And there were dwelling at Jerusalem, Jews, devout men, out of every nation under heaven. So that makes sense now. They were scattered into every nation, Michelle. Go ahead. Now when this was noised abroad, the multitude came together and were confounded because that every man heard them speak in his own language. See? You see what it says there? Every man heard him speak in his own what? Language. Habla español? See? You see how he understood me? I spoke English to you and I spoke Spanish to him. That's all Acts 2 is talking about. It's not talking about them mumbling. Every, there was one man speaking in Spanish, so that my brother, what's your name? R Ralph, so that Ralph could understand, and then one man speaking in English so that Michelle could understand. You understand? That's what God, God wanted them to repent, but he couldn't get them to repent if they didn't understand the language he was talking about. So what you see in the church is Isaiah 9. Who's the next teacher? I'm going to bring him up. Give me Isaiah 9. I'm going to bring him up. Because we look at that and we think, hey, that's what the Bible said, but speaking in tongues just meant another language. You with me? Okay, watch this. This is what they do in church. The book of Isaiah, chapter 8, verse 19. And when they shall say unto you, seek unto them that have familiar spirits. Familiar spirits is talking about dealing with demons, people who have died and bringing them back, right? Possession, things like that. You understand? That's what it's talking about, familiar spirits here, right? So when you watch a movie and there's like a, a psychic or whatever, they sit in the room, they start doing a certain thing. This is what they do, watch. And unto wizards that peak and that mutter. They say wizards peep and mutter. That's what they do in church, right? When they do that church, they start mumbling things and they start muttering the same thing over and over again, yes or no? Am I making that up? I'm not making that up, right? So when they do that in church, it said that was dealing with witchcraft. We're gonna read it again from the top, watch. And when they shall say unto you, seek unto them, that have familiar spirits. What it's telling you is that the people in the church that do that have a demon on them. That's what we don't understand. We think that's God. But remember what I told you, they're teaching you in the church how to serve the devil. So the people, stay right here, Rob. We got to show you who you are. Don't run away. I'm going to give my brother the mic in a second. Stay right here, Michelle. One second. And unto wizards that peep and that mutter, uh -huh. should not a people seek unto their God? So the Bible says you're not supposed to go to people who peep and mutter who deal with witchcraft, and this is their God, white Jesus. But the Jesus of the Bible was dark. He had color, and he told you to keep laws. He didn't peep your money. He spoke to you in a language where you could understand it and repent. You understand? What is a nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. 